Lisa with Luna Month Creations and I am back with my Witch's Roots for February. I can't even speak. <coughs> I'm still sick. <laughs> it's the same day. Anyways, <laughs> my Witch's Roots for February 2023. I was like gonna cough or something in the middle of that and choked myself up. So hello guys, if you're new to my channel, my name is Lisa and I'm sick this week. And um, I do unboxings and shiz. So if that sounds exciting to you, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, our theme for this month is Traveling Earth Altar. I think that's what it says. So I love the Witch's Moon and all that, but sometimes they use fonts that are like too scripty and, you know, like it's hard to read, right? I'm just saying. Um, love you guys though. Okay, so, so easy it is to become disconnected from the most necessary form of nurturing available to us, the earth. Yes. As you pass through bustling sounds, <laughs> notifications, the word notifications was the next word, and then you hear my phone making noise. <laughs> let me, let me silence it. Oh, I just got two text messages. Okay. I will read that in just a moment. Let me silence my phone. Wah! After I throw it. All right, let's start over. Through bustling sounds, notifications, concrete structures, and constant reminders, you will find that just past the path is the greatest comfort of all. In a world of nonstop distractions, it is vital for our practice and well-being that we foster the intimate relationship between self, silence, and sanctuary. We are so thrilled to finally release this wonderful collection, the Traveling Earth Altar. I read it right, okay. Within this unique variety of items, you will find companion pieces that are meant to travel with you wherever you may go, allowing you to stop and reconnect to the essence of nature and the comforting and grounding energies of the great Gaia. The magical items in this box are as follows. Ooh, girl! Okay. So this is my intuitively drawn oracle card. It says navigating emotions. Be aware of the flow of your feelings is my card. And it's got a big whale on it. How fun is that? But look at the back of the card. At first I thought this was the card. How gorgeous is that? Okay. Does it say what this is? Personalized oracle reading. We have meditated and selected a card from the Whispers of Aloha deck by Angela Hartfield. Artwork by Christina Dehoff <clears throat> to place inside your box. This card and the symbols that are represented were meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds. Know that there is a specific reason you have received this card. Let it resonate with you and speak to the pressing realities in your world. Aloha to learn what what? Aloha to learn what is not said, to see what cannot be seen, and to know the unknowable. That's a quote by Queen Lily Yukalani. I don't know if I said that right. Okay, put that over there. All right, ooh, I know exactly where this is gonna go. We've got our Earth Goddess artwork. Look how pretty. So in my office, um, because I'm a virtual nurse, I work from home, I have like a whole like kitchen area across from my desk and the decorations above it <clears throat> is all like earthy, like Gaia, you know, uh, earthy looking crystals, like green, you know, crystals. And um, I have some of their artwork and this one's gonna go right in there because it's got like this beautiful lady right here. All right. Uh, Earth goddesses Oh, there's a list of them. Cool. Um, oh, Danu. So Danu is a Kel Celtic goddess. I have a statue of her right up here. She was like, when I, okay, so when I first became a witch, I wasn't really interested in gods and goddesses um, because I had come from Catholicism. And I was kind of like, fuck all that shit, you know. Um, demonetization on YouTube right now after the F word. <laughs> Um, but 
Anyways, I slowly was like, okay, I can't let Catholicism like ruin my image of a creator. You know what I mean? And I had gone to Salem and I saw this statue. Let me, let me pull it down. I just have so much stuff in the way that I don't want to like break anything. <laughs> but I just connected so much with this statue. Um, I feel like mother goddesses are like near and dear to me. But look at how beautiful she is. And she's holding a baby. So this is Danu. Um, love her so much. I just connected with this statue like big time. So, all right. And then I've got, I've got representations of um, my, my other girls. I've got Isis and Maat <clears throat> and Beset up there because I'm, I'm going to, I'm not an Egyptian girl, but that's what I was getting ready to say. E the Egyptian pantheon is really my pantheon. So, anyways, okay, I digress. All right, I was just going to look and see kind of some other ones. Some other, like, well-known um, earth goddesses would be Demeter, Circe, <clears throat> Gaia, of course, um, Sif. Um, one of my best friends, Aiden, that's her goddess, Sif. And that's really the ones that I know. Anyways, there's a bunch listed here. So Earth Goddesses, Book of Shadows reference page. Written and illustrated by A.E. Alden, this beautiful Earth Goddesses reference artwork lists a variety of Earth Goddesses that you can work with on your path. Place within your Book of Shadows for future reference sigils created by G. Ibis. There's some sigils up there at the top corners, as you can see. Alrighty, put that over there. We have another um, uh, artwork because the witch's roots is usually centered around um, an herb. And apparently our herb is mustard seed, which is a seed. Not really an herb, but there you go. Alright, so we've got mustard seed herbal grimoire. We have partnered with a t very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor mustard seed. And then it just says the same stuff. It's, they have the same, um, like, writer and, and um, artist. All right, so we have a muslin bag because we're going to have some tea. And our tea is Gaia Mint. Sounds lovely. Oh, and, oh, I think it's the oil that smells good in there. But, again, I've been drinking some hot liquid because I've got a sore throat, so... And I love minty tea. That's like, any kind of minty tea is like my favorite. I just want to smell this. Oh, yes, girl. That smells good. All right, we're going to drink you later. We're gonna, I'm going to drink you. I'm going to drink you. <laughs> I have a baggie with nothing in it. I don't really know what that was supposed to have in there. Is there a rip in there? I think it was an accident. All right. So then we have our mustard seed, of course. Oh shit, I forgot to talk about this. I'm just cussing. Oh, okay, that empty Ziploc bag was actually a thing. I will tell you about that in a minute. So we've got our Gaia Mint Ritual Tea. We've included this wonderfully earthy and sweet Gaia Mint Ritual Herbal Tea to this collection to relax and unwind you. This unique blend has been created with peppermint, licorice root, and cloves. Take the time to sip this fragrant blend as you connect yourself to the source of all things. Very nice. One of these freaking days, I tell you, I need more energy and time. And I keep saying I need more time, but I don't have any overtime, so I have more time. I need to make my own tea blends because I sell herbs. <laughs> like, I should be doing that. Anyways, all right. I just don't know if anybody will buy them. Who knows? But all right, so mustard seed. An overwhelmingly useful and beneficial ingredient, mustard seed is often in elixirs, blends, and rituals throughout many cultures. In addition to its energetic properties, the mustard seed has been included in many stories meant to represent the power of something so small, eventually growing into something large and magnificent. Within Jewish texts, the mustard seed is said to represent the knowable universe, to demonstrate the world's true insignificance meant to teach humility and perspective. In metaphysical application, the mustard seed represents protection from evil, good luck, perseverance, and courage. As you work with and include the seed in your magical practices, allow its energies 
to provide you with peace of mind and surety of purpose. Elemental association of air and fire, celestial sun and Mars. I do not sell mustard seed in my shop, but um, if there is a need, let me know. All right, so they did give us an empty Ziploc bag for a reason. So we will find the rest of this. We'll come back to this um, in just a moment. Let me get something else. What is that? Okay, we're going to get our incense. So we've got jasmine. <clears throat> I appreciate that they have put it in a bag and it's labeled. Oh, yes. Mama's going to light one now. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. I'm going to light some incense in my room so I can smell it. I was going to try to rhyme, but um, I just, I didn't. <laughs> Usually when I sing, I rhyme things, but I'm a little fuzzy these days. <laughs> All right. As my granddaughter would say, bibbidi boppity boo. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay. Oh, it smells good. Jasmine Ritual Incense. These wonderfully fragrant ritual incense sticks were placed within this collection to bring the energies and emotions of love, passion, and connection to your craft. And, by the way, I sell jasmine flowers in my shop. So you can get those if you want them. All right. There is like a, like a section that has a bunch of things together, so I don't want to... Um, that. Okay, so that goes with that, the Ziploc bag, and then, um, I think I'm missing, no I'm not, okay. Velvet carrying case, okay, alright, let's get our next item and then we'll go with the, um, the thing that's got like a bunch of things together. Okay, I had to put my crinkle paper down there, alright, so we've got our candle. And this is Celebration of Growth Mini Spell Candle. And it is green, and they always do beeswax. We have hand-rolled this Celebration of Growth Mini Spell Candle with the intention of providing space and time to appreciate your blessings, celebrate the small victories, and recognize the ever, excuse me, the never-ending growth of yourself and all that surrounds you. Lovely. Okay, so they have a traveling earth altar. It says, as you bring this altar with you or simply set, set her upon an altar space, allow the accompanying energies to ground you. Visualize your roots stretching deep into the soil beneath you. As you work with this altar, ask yourself the following questions. How do your goals align with the greater good? How can you build a stronger and richer connection to the natural world that surrounds you? We are thrilled to be able to include the following items to this very special collection for use in preparing your traveling altar. Okay, so first we have the empty Ziploc bag. Um, it says, this is to include any herbs that you may want to incorporate to your traveling altar. This can include mustard, rose petals, jasmine buds, lavender. And again, I sell all of those except for the mustard seeds. We recommend including herbs that bring you the most comfort and serenity. And then we have a uh, green velvet sachet or pouch. This green velvet pouch has been included for you to place all of your altar items inside. Carry this with you throughout your day. When we begin to feel disconnected, find a private space to lay out your altar, ground your energies, and collect your thoughts. All right, and then we have a sachet with a... Uh, unikite or unikite, however you want to say it. Oh, it's lovely. It's a lovely piece. How pretty is that? All right. Mm. A beautiful stone of urgency. Uh, unikite is the here and now stone. The energy of this stone reminds us to lose ourselves into our work, into our inspirations, and into the creation. Unikite produces, excuse me, that is not the right word. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm saying unikite. I usually say unikite. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Whatever you want to call it. Unikite pushes us to stop wasting time. <laughs> I need this. Um, 
to take what life gives us and to move forward with steady action and natural momentum. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's about damn time. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. It's about damn time. In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental man or woman to pump me up. Okay. I'm not gonna start singing. <laughs> I mean, I already did. <laughs> I love that song, though. All right, then we got the rose essential oils. Ooh, let me put this on. So my grandmother's name was Rosemary. And um, people called her Rose or Rosie. Mm. I had gotten a, um, <coughs> I think I've mentioned this before. I've gotten a, I think my very first box from the Witch's Moon. Um... I got a, a, I got one of their oil blends called Freya, and I named my cat Freya, uh, like right after that. I had got my cat. So, anyways, the the oil has rose petals in it and stuff. Oh, it smells so good. This also smells really good. All right, rose magical anointing oil. We have created this very sacred blend to enhance the beauty and inspiration that flows through your daily practices. It can be easy to allow your daily tasks and responsibilities to glaze over your perception. This blend is intended to wash away this stagnant view, revitalize your outlook on life, and bring a sense of love and passion into your workings. Know that you are one with the natural life force of the earth and all that surrounds you. We have enchanted this magical oil with rose, sandalwood, and vanilla oils, and have included rose petals as well. Inside your oil, you'll find a rose quartz crystal chip known for its ability to bring love and healing. We have also included a special mixture of our Beauty Within Magical Oil from our personal cabinet of witchery to the mixture of this oil. Very good. <clears throat> and then last but not least, this is also for your travel altar. I think I already have... No. Oh, I don't have this one. Oh, she's so cute. Look at the little baby Mama Gaia. And I love it. Like the back, her hair looks like tree roots. And then there's like foliage in there. Oh, she's so pretty. My granddaughter's going to love this. She, all of my like Gaia statues, she's like, I want to play with the mommy. Like she just calls them mommies. And then I've got the Empress on my, you know, my tattoo. And she's got, um, she's pregnant with the earth. And, um, just like, and, uh, Every time my granddaughter sees it, she's always like, Mommy! <laughs> Alright, so we've got, let's see... Gaia statue. The small Gaia statue is a wonderful representation of the Earth in the form of a mother nurturing her great fertility. We view this symbol as a form of serenity and sacredness, knowing that the Earth energies are what comfort and inspire us. Allow this Gaia to be a token of the great nature spirit and the power and respect that is demanded. Oh, I love her so much. <clears throat> we'll put her there for now on my altar, but I don't, I don't know. She looks pretty good right there. She might stay there. All right, guys. So that is our traveling earth altar. Um, February, 2023 box from the witch's roots. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below and leave me a thumbs up also helps out my channel. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And of course, you guys, I thank you if you're already a subscriber. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.